All right, so let's dive into this absolute fever dream of a week. Laughability uploads are officially like finding hay in a needle stack, rare, chaotic, and somehow everyone's ecstatic about it. This man drops a video at the most random hours, and we all just collectively lose our minds like he's the messiah of cursed Roblox content. First off, the animations, cinematic masterpieces, like Pixar-level smoothness but with the charm of a feverish 2am idea. It's got that crisp, I might actually care about my audience vibe, which honestly is refreshing. But then he follows it up with the same energy as someone who can't decide between a two-week vacation or just quitting their job. Upload schedule, non-existent, through the roof. It's like a Michelin-starred chef who only opens their restaurant on leap years. Now, let's talk about the content. This man is diving into the seedy underbelly of Roblox scam games like a detective in a noir film. Instead of solving crimes, he's showing us all how easily kids are getting scammed out of their non-existent Robux. Glass bridge games, obnoxious game passes, and ad jump scares so aggressive, they probably caused a couple of existential crises. It's chaos, but it's educational chaos. The quotes? Unmatched. Your stupid, moral of the day, classic or the banger about hay in a needle stack. And let's not forget Skibidi Sigma Zeti. Yeah, that's where we're at as a society. The man is a chaotic philosopher dropping cursed one-liners like their gospel. But then, plot twist, we get heartfelt messages about how his videos help people through dark times, like this guy is out here unintentionally being a digital therapist, mixing humor, chaos, and a sprinkle of existential dread into something oddly comforting. It's like he's saying, yeah, the world is terrible, but here's me kidnapping someone's Roblox dad for laughs. And can we address the energy? Live, laugh, love, laugh. That's not just a motto. It's a lifestyle. It's a fever dream of absurdity wrapped in oddly good production value. You never know if you're getting a hilarious takedown of scam culture or a deeply weird tangent about missing houses. Either way, you're hooked. So, to anyone who hasn't jumped on the laughability train yet, Here's your invitation. It's weird, it's wild, and it's somehow exactly what you need. Send this to someone who spends too much time on Roblox. Or honestly, just someone who needs to laugh at the chaos of it all.